The Dandenong Rail Corridor is one of the state's busiest but least reliable lines. With Metro and V-Line services vying for space through Melbourne's booming southeast. But today, Nationals leader Peter Walsh made a promise as the party faithful gathered in Shepparton. We'll invest in the Gippsland Rail Service so that Gippsland actually has a faster service, a reliable service, and you won't be stuck behind the Metro trains from packing them in. Statistics from Public Transport Victoria show that over the past year, one in three trains from Bairnsdale ran late, while almost one in four from Taralgon failed to arrive on schedule. The opposition says they need dedicated tracks. We've had the regional rail link for Bendigo, Ballarat and Geelong. We need to find the equivalent of that for the Gippsland services. But that's been made more difficult by the construction of SkyRail, which has taken up much of the existing rail corridor. Additional tracks or even uh, passing sections on, uh, you know, on some of the line, uh, all of that would help. The Coalition also unveiled an $80 million plan for integrated education hubs, targeting local government areas such as Benalla, La Trobe, Swan Hill, Northern Grampians and Ararat, which are among the worst performing in the state. It's not good enough for us to accept the results as they currently are. It's no coincidence the Nationals picked Shepparton as the location for today's event. Having lost the seat to independent Susanna Sheed in 2014, the party is determined to win it back in November. The seat that we are going to win on November the 24th. Andrew Lund, Nine News.